hi everyone welcome to sofisa channel in this video we'll be going through how we can modify a visual file or web services definition file to work in salesforce a lot of time visual files are not uh, out of the box supported in salesforce when we import these external visual files into salesforce a lot of times you get errors so in this video we'll go through an example of a visual file and uh, see how we can modify it to fix that problem so in the previous video we went through all different sections of a visual file uh, but in case if you don't remember or what signifies some of these sections please check out that video i'll add a link uh, but here we are going through a visual 1.1 file and uh, it will have types messages port types uh, bindings and services and we'll be modifying some of these sections in order for it to work in salesforce uh, but before we can uh, probably uh, start working on the file uh, I, I can probably see that uh, I, I can probably show that the file doesn't work uh, if I try to directly import it in Salesforce so in, in my case I am taking a sample digital file from W3 schools temperature convert web service so this basically offers service uh, offers an online web service that can convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's actually simple logic that you can directly write in Apex. Uh, but in this case, just for the sake of demo, uh, we are going to take this XML, uh, which is same as the file that I have downloaded here, and uh, we are trying to modify it so that we can use it in Salesforce. So first of all, in order to make uh, demonstrate that it is not working, if I directly use, uh, I can probably come here generate a visual file. So this is the same visual file. I am trying to pass this file. So here you can see that I am getting an error saying like the port type is not supported or a multiple port types are not supported. So how do we modify this file for it to work in? Uh, Salesforce right so that's how we are that's what we are going to show so first of all uh, we, we need to have complex uh, data types for it to work so in our case we already have uh, complex data types defined here in the top and then we need to have uh, messages defined for the operation that we need so in our case Fahrenheit to Celsius and uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit both the input and outputs we need uh, this one we don't need for a soap operation uh, we are only looking for soap operation salesforce uh, is not going to support http uh, transport for this so probably we can remove this section then here you might be able to find multiple sections so one for a soap transport and another for http post operation so we just need soap so i am doing this then again in the next uh, binding section here also you'll be able to see um, multiple bindings so salesforce doesn't support uh, digital files with the multiple binding so in our in our case we just need the soap binding so 1.2 is a newer standard which is not yet supported in salesforce so we can remove these two and then last at the end salesforce support uh, visuals with only one port so in our case uh, for a maximum compatibility uh, this web service is ex exposed in three different ports but uh, unfortunately that won't work with salesforce uh, so we have to remove this so this is how the visual should be in order for it to work in salesforce uh, you may be wondering what some of these sections signify that we are covering in a separate video. I will add a link. Please check it out. Uh, and uh, another one thing that probably we need to consider is um, a, a, the other restrictions that are part of this uh, uh, digital importing process in Salesforce. So Salesforce has detailed the documentation on that with all the different formats that are supported as part of a SOAP file. You can find it in uh, this link uh, from Apex documentation so if you scroll down uh, th there will be a long list of restrictions 
uh, pistol files that are uh, not supported in Salesforce. So for example, some of the data types are not supported and uh, with pistols with multiple port types are not supported. Pistol with uh, importing of external schemas are not supported. So if there is any external schema reference, you have to copy paste that pistol XML external schema reference into the type section in, in your original pistol. Then yeah, yeah basically there is a long list of formats that are not supported so here we just showed the example of uh, how to how to remove the extra ports and get it working in salesforce in my case i have made all the changes so i am going to save this file and now we are going to try to import this file in salesforce and see if it's going to if we are going to be able to import this file so i'll cancel out of the screen uh, I'm going to again take the same digital file that I just saved. It's this one. And I'm going to pass this file. So here you can see that uh, it was successfully passed. So we need to give it a class name W3 School Service. Okay, so we can see that it has generated two classes as part of this operation successfully. Thank you for watching the video, hope you guys liked it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.